the best home studio for under £300. Just to make things clear right off the bat, we've already assumed you have a decent computer and recording software. This video is just based purely on hardware only. Taking that into account, there are loads of free options you can go regarding recording software. Software like Pro Tools First, Audacity, or PreSonus Studio One, to name a few. Or you can invest in some more powerful software like Cubase or Ableton. So jumping right into it is the audio interface. We're going for the Audion ID4, two inputs and two outputs. What I really like about it is the robust construction and the fantastically clean audio preamps you get for the price point. You are definitely getting bang for your buck with this little fella. If you checked out the audio interface video we did a while back, you know that we featured the ID14, the big brother to the ID4. The ID4 is a slimmed down version but still packs a punch like its other family member. With this piece of gear you have the potential to record an instrument input and a microphone at the same time, giving you the freedom to lay down your ideas at a drop of a hat. So next up, an interface without a microphone is like a piano with no keys or a table with no chairs. In other words, it's incomplete. So what I've gone for is the SE Electronics SEX1. The thing I like most about this condenser, it's simple features. It has a bass cut and 10 dB pad switch. The condenser mic is an all-rounder. With it, you'll be able to record vocals, acoustic guitar, for example. Just make sure you switch on the 48 volt phantom power that you'll need to make this mic work. On top of that, it's a great idea to add a pop shield to the mic. It helps with sibilance, reduces breath noises when recording vocals. It's also a good idea to get a mic stand, a stag boom mic stand to be precise. It's not the world's best mic stand in the world, but it does the job at the low price point. This stand has a strong, sturdy tripod base, plus being lightweight with folding legs, the ideal stand to collapse down to save on storage space. Last but not least is the headphones. I've chosen headphones over monitors purely for the fact that you can get a far better quality of sound from a pair of headphones at the same price point as some really dirt cheap speakers. Unless you're willing to spend a few hundred pounds on a set of half decent monitors, I would suggest getting yourself the highest quality headphones you can afford first. You can always get a sweet set of monitors later on down the line. So there it is, the grand total of this home studio brings it up to £250. So that means you've got some room to play around with for some cables or accessories. Or maybe you want to upgrade the headphones to the next step up. Regardless of what extras you get, this little setup is ideal to dip your toe into the wonderful world of audio recording. If you're interested at all in this little studio bundle, be sure to check out the link below or click the little eye icon in the top right hand corner. So that's it, I hope this little video has inspired you to start making music and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.